Hello, welcome. I'm Brother Zana David. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. Uh, if you're new, subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV, and other social media platforms, Biblical Sexual Purity. I want to continue from where I stopped last week, how we can overcome sexual additions. Last week, we talked about the word, using the Word of God, and today I want to talk about prayer, how we can use prayer to overcome sexual addictions and sexual sins in general. I want to read to us Ephesians 6, uh, verse 10 following. Finally, my brethren, be strong, in the, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, and put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God that he may be able may be able to withstand in the evil day and every done hour to stand. Stand therefore having your loins cared about with truth and having the breastplate breastplate of righteousness and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery dust of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with all prayer and supplication and the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Why do we need to fight sexual addictions with prayer? Why do we need to fight uh, sexual sins with prayer? One of the things that prayer do, does for us is that prayer connects us with the divine. When we pray, we talk to God. and there are angels when we pray we activate angels there are angels who are messengers who take our prayers up to heaven and also bring uh, answers down number one of these angels is angel gabriel who is i would like him i call i call him always as a minister of information he goes about taking uh, messages from earth to heaven and from heaven to earth uh, like uh, we see him, he was sent to Mary, Angel Gabriel, and the host of the messengers. When we pray, we activate their activities. We activate them into, put them into action. Also, when we pray as spirit, you know, we are human beings, uh, but we are mainly spiritual. We have the body, the spirit, and the soul. So to third of man is spiritual the spirit and the soul these are the spiritual aspect of man spiritual part of man so when we pray we enter into fellowship with god and another thing we need to understand is that a lot of times um all all or almost all uh, addictions in the world are backed up with evil spirits there are spirits that tie people down so when we pray especially sexual addictions and sexual sins there are different kind of spirits that work with them to straighten the bond so that you don't break out at all so when you pray you the fire of the holy ghost in you increases and they become powerless in prayer you can cast them out too uh, when there are yokes demonic yokes prayer breaks them and when you pray, the Spirit of God is revived inside of you. You flame it, you fan it into flame, and your body becomes hot. The altar, you know, we are the altar of God. Your body is a temple of God. So when you pray, it is on this altar we offer spiritual sacrifices to God. So when you pray, prayer is a form of sacrifice. It's a form of spiritual sacrifice. When you pray, every time your mind is taken over by the holy ghost and your mind won't be a breeding ground for evil thoughts the power of addiction is evil thoughts so your mind is a battleground each time the devil wants you to go into the bad habits that 
has enslaved you, he brings in evil thoughts and brings in different kind of suggestions to your mind. So by the time you pray every time, you render those powers useless. And the demons and the powers holding you captive, you render their powers useless. So prayer is very, very important. Uh, the Bible says uh, in the Ephesians that we read, it said in Ephesians 6, 17, it says the part B of it says, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Now, for you to fight and overcome, you need the sword of the spirit, the word of God. What do you do? You declare the word of God. This is what the word, this is what the what God says. It is written, it is written, it is written. And by the time you start quoting the word of God, you start using scriptures to pray, you discover that you your spirit is stressing, you are edified in the spirit you have more self-control for we do not receive the spirit that makes us slaves to fear but we receive the spirit of love the spirit of self-control when you pray you have more control over the power of the flesh prayer is very very important then also there are different kinds of covenant when you pray you break those covenants when you pray the fire of god becomes hot and hotter and the covenants are broken so make prayer a part of your life if you are addicted to any kind of sexual sin or even any form of addiction at all or you are struggling with sexual sins please pray pray and prayer breaks every yoke when you pray the yokes are broken even jesus when he we read the bible a lot of times after performing miracles he goes to secluded places and pray not because he had any problem with sin but because when virtue leaves you you need to refill it when you become addicted and you, or you see that your fire is low you need to boost your fire you need to boost this spiritual virtue you need to boost your spiritual strength and by the power of the holy ghost after having fellowship with god through prayer you discover that your spirit will go up your self-control will go up instead of you to begin to fall for these things you see yourself going up and standing standing up to really uh, have control over you if you didn't listen to the first one please try to listen i'm going to also talk about how we can overcome sexual sins and sexual additions uh, with other two points. I'm going to post the videos too. If in case you have not subscribed, please subscribe and, uh, uh, and, and follow me. Click the bell, BS Purity TV, BS Purity TV. Or you can just type Biblical Sexual Purity. You are going to see my videos on YouTube. And visit my website, BiblicalSexualPurity.com. There are things that the Lord has revealed to me which I posted on my website. Also, follow me on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, Biblical Sexual Purity. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.